Good day, my name is Neville Van Roy. I'm the community coordinator for the Green Connection. Uh, the following map will be showing the different um, coastal areas or and activities that is happening around oil and gas activities, exploration activities to be more specific around the coast from Northern Cape to KZN. In the province of the Northern Cape, there is Block 1, Tosako, and it's by Total Energy. Environmental Impact Authorization is granted on the 3rd of March, 2022. Environmental Impact Assessment Appeal was submitted by the Green Connection on 7th April, 2022, and we are still waiting um, the appeal outcome response block two northern cape there is azinam south africa ltd the uh, notification of public engagement process to update on exploration process um, and provide information public meetings was held in koinas on 6 june 2022 Wonder Club Bay, 7 June 2022, and Clancia, 8 June 2022, but has been postponed due to a shooting that happened with the Zama Zamas in the area. Moving a little bit further, uh, we have uh, West and South West Coast, various, uh, you have Spectrum, uh, TGS application, uh, not proceeding with seismic surveys this season. Um, then we have West Coast in Saldana. We have the car power ship, uh, the Green Connection loans an application asking the Houting High Court in Pretoria to review nurses' decision to grant three electricity generation licenses to Saldana, Guha, and Richards Bay. As a result, NERSA and car power ships have given notice that they will oppose the application. Moving a li little bit further, we have West, South, West Coast, various uh, searcher seismic surveys, interim interdict granted by the High Court in Cape Town. Application is ongoing. Moving a little bit further, uh, just over the mountain uh, southwest coast, uh, ranging from Cape Town to Cape Agalas, uh, blocks 5, 6 and 7, you have TIPSA, total scoping phase of environmental impact assessment. Deadline for comments on draft scoping report is 20 June 2022. Public meetings were held in Saldana Bay, 1 June 2022, Hermanas, 2 June 2022, Cape Town, 9 June 2022, online meeting on 7 June 2022. Southeast Coast, Block 11B and 12B, you have TEPSA, comments on draft scoping report submitted 21 August 2020. Notice received from TEPSA 15 April 2021 confirming suspension of EIA. And then we move a little bit further to Southeast Coast, Algoa, Hamtuas, and Otunika Basin. Various CGG seismic surveys, comments on draft environmental management plan submitted 29 November 2021. No notice of any permitted decisions given. Current status uncertain. Then we move to the East Coast. You have E R two three six any and Sassel um, Department of Environmental Affairs, Forestry and Fisheries Minister appeal this decision and environmental impact. Assessment authorization taken on the High Court review application ongoing and SETSI is the organization involved there.
exploration area, various shell seismic survey, inter interdict granted, high court review, judgment reserved. So dear South Africans, there you have your latest weather report as to the onslaught of oil and gas activities on our oceans around our coastline from KZN to the Northern Cape. So we have to um, take note of what is happening around our oceans and how our oceans has been carved up into blocks being rented out to these different companies.